Stackers, Drake Savory here, and as promised, here's how I'm starting my stack again. So, listen to this. Hear that kind of clunking sound? Not, more, not a clank, more of a clunk. This is modern day American coins, that Cupro nickel blend, not real exciting. You know, that's the sound when you empty out your pockets and dump it on your dresser and whatnot. Let's get that out of the way. Now, listen to this. Hear that? That's almost like a bell ringing. In fact, most of the best bells are made out of silver. So, I got this online uh, on eBay. I went to buy it now. Tried to snipe some as early as possible. Got this just a couple minutes after it went up. So for this whole stack, can't, and even considering the fact that it's 90% silver, not 100%, $15 under the silver spot. Okay, phenomenal deal. Interestingly enough, Monkey Spaz, if you've not heard of his channel, he does a great weekly show. Um, really good take. I think on stacking really kind of fits what I'm looking for in a stacking sort of lifestyle. Uh, saw that he had talked about the exact same trick about two or three days after I had done it. So here's some Walking Liberties. You can see now why they, they call them junk silver. Not, not slicks, but certainly not great condition. You're not buying this, you know. To resell for profit. A couple of Franklins. I love the fact that I got a Franklin. Growing up in the 70s, uh, my sister had a Franklin. And of course, I didn't know, you know about silver and all that. I just knew, hey, there's a coin that is completely unlike anything we have. We had the, the Kennedy half dollars. So that was fascinating. And interestingly enough, my son saw these coins and he's like, oh, wow, look at these old coins. So Maybe he's going to get into silver stacking one day. Got some Washington, no barber quarters. Some Washington quarters, again, you can see a lot on the junk silver side. But got some beautiful 1964s. Okay, last year we had the 90% silver. If you saw that in your pocket, absolutely, you'd probably spend it not realizing that it's an old coin. Okay, got a bunch of those. Really like those. Got some of the Roosevelt's, but also got some Mercury's. Some more quarters. Um, so back design. Okay, not quite the same. These are torches. That's a torch. That's a facies. And there are some decent condition ones. I mean, look at that Mercury. Really nice. But then again, also got some slicks. Look at that. Barely see the face on there. And the back, I, I mean, unless, unless you're up close, you can't see that at all. Okay. Look at this. 1951. Borders wearing off. Reading. Still there. But I've got a 41 in here. Hey, there it is. Look at that. That is pretty close to being slick. There's almost no reading on there whatsoever. So there's my two 90% silver slugs. So there we go. Silver. Nice little pickup. Nice little way to start. Especially stacking for weight. Now this next one I found out about on Monkey Spaz. And this is Coins of the World. It's through Bold Precious Metals. Uh, they have a deal for first time buyers. Absolutely fascinating uh, deals. I really like Bold for all the different sort of deals they have in combinations. And here was the one I picked up as their first time buyer. Coins of the World. Really nice way to get a variety going on there. So there's your American Silver Eagle. What year is it? It don't matter. They all look the same. First coin I ever got was uh, when the Silvers uh, American Eagles first came out. I got a proof. So one of my little treats, I talked about this in my first episode, you got to treat yourself, you got to say screw the premium and resale value, 
you got to do a treat. You got to make it interesting. You got to make it fun for yourself. Or as great as this is, it's going to get boring real quick. So I am going to find a first year silver proof kind of says to me, yes, I'm rebuilding my stack. So there you go. There's your Walking Liberty American Silver Eagle. Next one. Again, can be fairly boring. Low premium, if that's what you're looking for. Definitely probably the backbone of any stacker's portfolio here. There's your Canadian Maple Leaf. No milk spots. Yay, Royal Canadian Mint. Got it right. Another bulk kind of bullion coin. There you go. This is, hard to tell, I know, because of the queen. Could be half a dozen different coins. This is your kangaroo. Okay? Love this one as just stacking low premium bulk silver coins. I might actually think about stacking every year of this one just because. Now, coin I don't like right here. Philharmonic. Boring coin to me. I know there's a lot on it, but it honestly looks like one of those decorative rounds, and in fact, there's no reading on the side. Look at that. There's no reading. This looks like one of those cheap sort of medals you get for participating in, well, I guess, a musical competition. Definitely not stacking that. And this one I am going to stack. Again, we've got the queen on there. What is it? It is the Britannia. Changes every few years. Um, as I stack these, as I build them up, maybe I'll do a little special uh, mini episode on looking at the different designs. Next one I'm going to get, definitely the Oriental. Love the Oriental design. Just something about it. So there we go. There's the Britannia. Coins of the world. Bold, precious metals. Go ahead, check it out. Monkey Spaz, yes. Giving him a shout out again. Definitely has an episode I'm going to link to that talks about some of these deals. If you've never bought from these companies before, you can definitely get silver at spot. Cannot beat that. So those are the semi-numismatic. Here are my numismatic. Wow, God. I'm getting in trouble trying to say that word over the series. So here's my numismatic. There's my peace dollar. Now, if this looks a little off to you, it did to me too. Um, I did test it. I used the water displacement test, the specific gravity test. It is 90% silver. I think it's been cleaned. I really do. Um, trying to hold this up, try to get some light. I don't think my setup's pr really great for this. But there we go with this. If you notice, Hey, there's no cartwheel effect. You are absolutely right. There's no cartwheel. I think this has been cleaned. I really do. But, you know, got it for the silver, not for the coin value. And then there, pretty standard 1921, Morgan Dollar. My favorite cartwheel design. Probably everybody's favorite cartwheel design. Now, I got these on eBay. They looked really good. They looked in the very fine, high grade. Um, and if you're looking at this now going, uh, yeah, they don't really look very fine. Well, they do. They, they do meet all the characteristics, but not as good as online. The pictures certainly were better looking than the actual coins, especially on this one. Um, so congratulations to whoever took the picture. You made them look great, but I don't think I'll be going back to that buyer. And as a fact, my next episode is going to be on things you should not buy on eBay. So hit that notification button, subscribe, make sure you don't miss it. So there you go. There's my brand new coin collection. And there's my new silver stack. Got this constitutional silver here. Got these semi-numismatic bullion coins and some good old-fashioned American cartwheels. What do you think? Am I doing this right? Do you have suggestions? What should I keep stacking? What do you think? Comment below. And here's Drake Savory signing out. Until next time.